If only we could contain hell within the cell. Hi, I'm Ariel Italic. I'm Lady Berica Andrews. My favorite WWE superstars are The Cell and Jeff Hardy's makeup. And I'm gonna try and not make an, a Mario Kart joke that'll be outdated by the time this comes out. Woo! You're watching Nobody's Watching Wrestling. Ugh. 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 So we watched Hell in a Cell, you did too. It was fine, we're gonna talk about it the way we talk about things, which is this. She's red this year. She's red. She's red. <laughs> so match one <laughs> is Randy Orton versus Jeff Hardy. Most Speaking of things that seemed like they were on bath salts. Oh God. Mostly I wanna congratulate uh, Jeff Hardy for his fishnet moment which uh, was a great like vintage gay club vibe. Well done. It's, it's really keeping with his image of a vintage gay club person. <laughs> uh, very disco 2000. I do enjoy his makeup, but I would recommend not touching your face so much, Jeff Hardy. You know what else you shouldn't touch is other people's ear holes, Randy Orton. Oh! Um, he put a whole screwdriver through it and then just twisted. I couldn't stop watching it. I just like, it was so, it was like, yeah, leave other people's holes alone. <laughs> like, you ask before hole action. All holes are off limits before a the very- cell, The cell is full of holes. Yeah, Did the, but I feel like the cell gives enthusiastic consent. Put your fingers wherever you would like to. Match two, Charlotte and Becky. No one got new outfits. Oh my God. You're like changing the character alignments and you're not gonna give them new outfits? It's disgusting. My gag about their outfits is that um, I bet they were mad that the color story was very similar in yeah. their outfits. Which I think that was probably somewhat intentional, but I like, if you're trying to make a character like show that they have a new attitude, give them a new look. I love Becky as a heel. I, I, I liked her before. She's not quite a heel though, right? Like that's the dilemma with this whole uh, writing situation is that she's not quite enough of a heel. I think she's actually too nice in real life and needs to really dig deep into like her. So what I read online is that they were writing her to be more heelish and then the audience kept cheering her because they like her so much and now mm -hmm. they're trying to make it more of like they're both faces with attitude because the, it just wasn't gonna work with her being a straight up heel. I oh, I think she can do it. I believe in her. I, I don't know if I, she can. Her hair is really great too, by the way. She does know how to work it. She is selling the hair she has. I'm not convinced that she has the best hair she could have. If I love Char looking at Charlotte after a match is over, especially when she loses. Oh, she, I'm like, she has what? A face. What is her like? What's her character work then? Like, what's she thinking about? But she actually does do character work. She like, does. She does actually. I will admit credit, that. She does a lot of silent mm -hmm. facial mm -hmm. acting. She's mm -hmm. giving you a I mean, full I said it her last time. moment. I said like, it last time. She will have a lifetime movie career after this. She's a decent. Actress. Oh, I just. I would watch a Charlotte Flair Lifetime movie. We're skipping the dude tag team because, like. It was fine. Whatever. And they're back later. We'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles, which is I uncomfortable. Want bedtime stories by Samoa Joseph every night of my life. So many people were tweeting that they wanted that book in the WWE shot. And I was like, that, yeah. seems, that just seems like a, a cursed object. Oh, I don't- It was, whoever the prop master was for that episode, kudos. It was gorgeous. My, I think they should have gotten a better, like an actress to replace his actual wife. <laughs> That's fair. Cause she's just like- Storybook aside, like Samoa Joe is like literally the best promo <laughs> in all of the WWE and you're gonna make him read a storybook? Like, just let him talk shit. That's what he's good at. It's but so he's, stupid. But he was also good at that. <laughs> he's just really good. Okay, all right. He's one of the I only guess. stars who could have sold that terrible gimmick. Imagine AJ reading that book. It's I don't want to imagine. AJ would have been like, I don't know this word. AJ Somebody does me. not know how to read, first of all. Second of all, AJ needs a fucking haircut more than anyone I've ever, more than me in the last episode of Nobody's Watching Wrestling. <laughs> Just 
just to talk about actual wrestling things. So AJ, bleeding from the mouth and looks terrible, uh, does like a weird thing where so AJ is pinning Joe. Joe has AJ in a submission hold. Right. So at the two count for Joe being pinned, AJ taps, taps in the submission hold, yeah. which to me makes no sense because he can hear the ref counting. So and the he knows was right on that side of Joseph too. He knows he only has one more count before he wins the match. Yeah. So what's the fucking point so of tapping? This is actually, actually a, a plot device WWE uses a lot, where like someone will submit with one second left because they can no longer withstand the pain of the submission. So like, yes, they could have held on for one more second, but like the drama of it. I will say that I could handle approximately 0.1 seconds of a submission hold. So I get it, like I'm sure it hurts and I'd tap instantly, but it just, I don't know, it felt really late. And also like the camera angles were weird and they had to like double check a hundred times to see if he tapped or not. And like by the, by the time they figured it out, I no longer cared. Except that now they're just gonna do this again in like a month. Yep, and Joe will say something else really uncomfortable I about hope AJ's wife. Storybook. I hope we continue this fantasy. So the next match is The Miz and Maurice versus Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Oh, this is where uh, Miz and Maurice looked like baby's first Burning Man. See, I, I thought that this was the most Miz look he's ever done. Yeah, totally. And they also look like they are the king and queen in a fantasy land of a young adult fiction series. Burning Man. I was gonna go for they look like they had joined a cult started by rollerbladers. <laughs> If they're at Burning Man, they don't actually go out into the dust. They have like a... It's too white for the dust. They're with like Paris Hilton in the tent. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, in the air-conditioned tent. This match was weird for me because usually I want the men to step aside and like let the ladies do some actual wrestling. This time, I didn't want that because Brie Bella was involved and I'm really bored by her. She was a badass. She I think did that was okay the first that time match. that I ever She's... saw her wrestle, actually. She's gotten better. She's still quite boring. Yes. But I did think it was great, again, character work of Maurice to constantly be tagged. Because the mixed, mat mixed matches have really weird rules where like if you, you force a tag when you tag out. So I mm -hmm. thought it was kind of smart strategy that she was always forcing the tag. Mm -hmm. Because like you don't get to see those rules used like cleverly like that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I love Maurice and everything she does. Yeah. And she should be involved in more things. Um, and yeah, I do, she, good character work, you're right. I have no clue what Maurice's actual wrestling skills are like. From what I hear, pretty bad. So like, that's a pretty good way to avoid getting her to actually do anything. Sure. I, I just want Miz and Brie to wrestle. Oh, I would watch that yeah. match. Would you? Who cares about Daniel? Maurice just pretty. Wait, oh, you want Maurice and Brie? No, no. I want you want Miz and Brie. I would watch the Miz that versus Brie. That would be Brie. really great. That would be so cool. She, she can throw. His, she kicked his ass and then like slid under his legs to like take out Maurice. Mm. That she was did, cute. That was a good move. Um, I still don't care for her. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a nice person. I'm not sure of that. You seem like you're fine. You're not. She familiar. does. She does the like E Network, like vacant eyes, no soul thing. You know, like it's like all those reality TV heterosexual women like are just like on reality shows about shopping and like uh, getting married. And I'm like, I got it. So in the end, Maurice pins Brie, and we're done, and we can stop, and everyone can go home. We can go to the next match. Next is Alexa Bliss and uh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Oh, oh, Alicia Fox, more importantly. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yeah. This is something that I talk about in drag all the time. Do not bring a backup dancer that's better than you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do not. Mm -hmm. That outfit was uh, Grace Jones uh, murdering your husband. It was perfect, except her shoes were not perfect. Shoes I couldn't perfect. get a good glimpse of her shoes. They were they were like tan, tan chunky yeah. heels. But yeah. they were like metallic too. No, no, they were no. Not. if they, they were, were metallic, it would have been fine. Mm. So just it's tan. just like, it was like a perfect outfit and then like the shoe, but she looks so good. Yeah. She looks so much better than everyone else there. It was crazy. She, yeah. It was nuts. Um, it that was hair. fully a Dusty Ray Bottoms look though. Oh yeah, it was. Rhonda is still doing 
more than needs to be done with her look. Her like the, face, you mean? Just her face. That well, no, they're like they're doing like a weird sort of muddy yeah. eye it's and awful. like those horrible braids. I think Terrible. it's it's the eye paired with her hair being so slick back. She has such a huge forehead, which is like maybe sounds like a read, but it's just a, a fact. Like <laughs> like that eye with no eyebrows. Yeah. They I, just need to give her, like, she's a beautiful person. They just need is. to give her, like, a plain look. Like, oh, so, it's, yeah. It's so simple. And I hate, I like, gender's over, obviously, but she looked really manly with that makeup. And, like, it just didn't look great on her. I do think, yeah, they're trying to accentuate, or, like, they should be trying to accentuate what's there, and they're just rubber stamping. Yeah, just stamping. her brow look like neanderthal -ish. They're rubber stamping something on her that doesn't work. She... She's a sweet lady. So much of... WWE is heightened, crazy, hyper femininity. She would look a lot better Just with something pared down. A natural look. Like she, and also that would fit and, better and, with her character. Right, because her character is that she's like an actual athlete. So just make her, like, don't put her in a face. Like, yeah. she's not, like, it's just, it's so... It's not that hard. Yeah. Yeah, she, just give her, like, that was, one of her first matches was just, like, sports bra, shorts. Yeah. And, like, a natural look. Oh, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That was her best look. Like just yeah, just Samoa Joe it. Like yeah. there's no oh, yeah. need to go f not not as in stealing someone's family as in just wearing. I a think short. it's actually hindering her performance, like being done up this way. It just doesn't feel natural. Her wrestling is still very very good. Yeah, great yeah. wrestler. Nothing bad to say about that, and I would never imply that she should stop doing what she's doing. Just stop wearing what she's wearing. It's crazy too because not only is she good at like offense, she's so good at selling other people's moves too. Like she made it look like Alexa Bliss was beating her, which is literally ridiculous. Oh yeah, Alexa Bliss is like four foot two. Uh, Mickey James looked fine. Looked terrible. She looked like. Like, is uh, BB from the 90s coming back? Like, is that a vintage look? She just pulled it out from her, like, closet? I thought it was She so did much... look like a mall person. Just a mall person. But I... And that little, like, embellishment on... <laughs> like... So bad. <laughs> I, felt... I love you, Mickey, but no. Really? No. I felt good about her as a mall person. I think she fits there. I think it's right for her. I love a good mall. I'm a mall mom. Let's could... go hang out in a mall. I, I could... love a mall. I'd hang out in a mall with Mickey James. Mickey James will drink an Orange Julius. Also, um, like we said, Bliss is four foot two and cannot beat Ronda Rousey. So Ronda just like folds her up into a little pretzel and uh, Bliss taps out. Makes it sense. It felt really quick though, like with the intensity of the match and then it just like, okay, I'm tapping out. I would yeah. tap out too. I well, yeah, 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 but it just felt quick. I mean, the whole match was just silly because like Bliss just can't beat her. Like, it's like, this, like, who are you kidding? Like, this just looks stupid. Sorry, Alexa. You are great. And we don't want to tell you you're not. But you should lose, and you did. Yeah. Final match is Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns in the cell. And like 900 other people. There's a lot. Uh, there's just a lot. It's a lot. Turns out Hell uh, can escape from the cell. Yeah. And hell just is spread around. Hell is crowded. <laughs> Braun and Roman, I mean. Oh, Roman did the same two moves over and over? I can, someone blocked me on Twitter for insinuating that a Superman punch is not interesting. Um, and I have never been prouder. Yeah, I mean, bye. You never have to hear from that person again. Like, no, also. those prepped move, masculine moves are like interesting, like the Viper or the, like where they just get down and they're like, Ugh. I'm they're coming after you. It's like trying to be like a weird anime pose or something, but it just looks like garbage. Because it's just like, go do what you're gonna do. Yeah, like, just go do it. Just go do yeah. it. And then, just when I thought the match couldn't be less interesting, the end was an actual insult. So Mick Foley's there because he's like a legend and he's like the, uh, like, he was like, war he was like a soothsayer warning of the dangers of hell in the cell. Yeah, everyone who looks at Mick Foley should know not to enter the cell. And not to climb up it either. <laughs> like, when you see Mick Foley, you should know to turn the other way, leave the arena, and change your whole life. Because this is your future. When Dolph started climbing up it, I was just like, in my mind, I wanted the cell to just absorb him <laughs> and him to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> But also, like, that spot where they're all just on top, like, 
fumbling about was so it was ridiculous. so scary. It was though. scary, but it didn't even amount to anything. Like they fell off. Okay, so then Rollins and Ziggler fall off the side, and it's like. I don't know, it just felt anticlimactic after you're on the top, kind of like... They sort of acknowledge by bringing everyone else in that Roman Reigns and uh, Braun Strowman was maybe not that interesting. So they're like, we gotta uh, garnish this with some people yeah, you care they were about. fully focused on the other four for and, like and a good And Braun five and minutes. Roman were just lying. Just laying there. Just napping. <laughs> I had to play dead in a play once, and it was not comfortable. So well, like, they could look up. Like... They could see the people above them. Mm -hmm. Like, they were just watching the match. They, it was what like do you great... think they were saying to each other? They were, they were yeah, uh, like, talking about the yet? upskirt shots they could see. They're just like, oh, Can look. I just get my check? Um, <laughs> speaking of can I just get my check. Upskirt shots. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> there, there we go. Um, speaking of can I just get my check. Brock Lesnar uh, shows up at the end. Uh, oh God. Why? To be, for to to be the one minute ruiner of all things. So he just like comes in, um, he punches people and their suplexes because, uh, and then he leaves and we're like. Oh, and then and then I read this on the internet. They cut the feed because they wanted to make sure that you couldn't hear all the booing. I was wondering why it cut off so quickly. That's it was, why. It, it felt so incomplete. I was just, like, it was just, I was literally thinking they would come back and it would be more uh -uh. things. Uh -uh. But then it was just another WWE show that I don't watch. Gotta make sure uh, you don't hear people not happy. Oh, uh, maybe make them happy next time. Like just program something that makes them happy. Don't end your like whole main event like that. It was the fucking dumbest thing I've ever seen. Also, it's like a no DQ match that ended in a double DQ. <laughs> they got the point of the match wrong twice. I feel like the cell ended up happy because part of her was used to destroy people. True. She uh, she lives off of people's hatred. Yeah, we're we're just here to please the cell. She need, uh, we uh, we have to worship her. She demands tribute. All right. Uh, I'm at Ariel Italic at all the places, especially Venmo. Give me money. I'm at your dad's house. Mario Kart. <laughs> I was pleased with the main event because I was swarmed with sweaty humans for me to consume. I smelled them and they were rancid and rotten, fueled by my evil. Brock Lesnar is a big sandwich that I will bite next time. Oh, he squirts. <laughs> he probably squirts, though. Oh. <laughs>